Hi, I'm Layla and welcome to a run through of HubDoc with Linford Gray. After logging in, the first page that you'll come across is the organisations list. If you only have the one company, that'll be all that you can see here. However, if you own multiple companies, you should see a list of them on this organisations list. So I'm just going to click into one of our organisations. The first thing I'm going to do is show you how to find your unique HubDoc email address. So you click on the cog in the top right corner, go onto the organisation tab, and you will see here it says uploading files via email. You can copy this email address to your clipboard. So what that means is that you can forward any email that has a PDF of a invoice on it straight to your HubDoc and it will appear here. Another option for uploading to HubDoc is simply dragging and dropping. And that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to find my invoice and then just drag and drop it onto my screen. HubDoc is now reading that invoice and pulling out what it can. As you can see, it's currently a waiting review. So I'm going to click on it. HubDoc has correctly identified the supplier as John Smith. The invoice number is 012 and the date is the 22nd of December 22. There's no due date on the invoice, so HubDoc has left that blank. And I'm just going to select the 22nd of January 23. It has already brought out that the total amount is £420 and that there's 20% VAT of £70. I'm then going to scroll down to the zero publishing section. I want it to publish as a purchase as this is a purchase invoice. The status that we automatically select is draft so that we can check it again within zero. However, if you want to select a waiting payment or a waiting review, you can do. I'm then going to search for the contact, John Smith. He doesn't currently exist in zero, so I'm going to add him as a contact and then click create. You can select whether the invoice has a single line or multiple lines. This one's single, so I'm going to select it and choose the account code cleaning. I'm now happy with all of this information, so I'm going to click the auto sync button. And what that means is whenever HubDoc sees an invoice for John Smith, it will automatically publish it to zero exactly as we have done today. I'm then going to click publish. And that is now sitting in my draft bills to pay within zero. Now another thing that could happen within an invoice is that you could have two lines, one is VATable and one is at 0%. So to do that, you go to the tax rate at the top and you click on extracted amount. So I'm going to assume that my invoice is exactly as is, but there's an extra £30 that's at zero rated. So I'm going to put the total amount as 450 the tax amount is still £70, the taxable portion is 20% VAT on expenses, and the untaxed portion is zero rated expenses. My account code I'm still going to put to cleaning and I'm then going to generate the line items. As you can see here it's pulled out the two lines, the £350 and 20% VAT, which is what we had originally had on the invoice, and then the extra £30 at zero rated expenses. Here you can adjust the account codes if they go to different ones or leave them as is if they're the same. I'm then going to click save and close. I'm then going to scroll down and click republish because I've edited the invoice. This now automatically edits the draft bill that is currently sitting in zero. So I don't need to do anything. It won't be there twice. I've just edited that one. I can then click to view the purchase in zero. So just to show you, you'll see it's sitting in draft. It's pulled all of the information in as I've just published it. And it has also attached the document for me. So that's also in zero. You can then go into your draft bills to pay and approve any as and when you like. And that is a basic run through of HubDoc. Thanks for watching a HubDoc run through with Linford Gray. If you find this video useful, then head over to our YouTube channel where you will find many similar videos.